Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're diving into a super important topic, how to keep your pets safe during an emergency or disaster situation. You love your furry family members, right? Of course you do. And we'd do anything to keep them safe, wouldn't we? Absolutely. Well, that's why we're talking about being prepared because in a real emergency, things can get chaotic fast and unpredictable. We're gonna walk through the top five things you can do to be a superhero for your pets when it matters most. All right, kicking things off with number five, we're talking about packing a pet emergency kit. This is an essential step in ensuring your pet's safety during unexpected situations. Picture this, you've got to evacuate quickly. The last thing you want is to be scrambling for your pet's necessities. You don't have time to rummage around, so having everything ready to grab and go is key. A well-prepared kit can make all the difference. First up, food and water. These are the basics, but often the most crucial. And not just a little snack, we're talking at least a week's supply for each pet. This ensures they stay nourished and hydrated. You never know how long you might be displaced, so better safe than sorry. Next, medications. This is especially important for pets with chronic conditions. If your pet takes any daily meds, make sure you've got enough to last at least a week and keep them in a clearly labeled container with instructions. This can prevent any confusion during stressful times. Now, emergencies can be stressful for everyone, including our four-legged friends. Their anxiety can be alleviated with some thoughtful preparation. So pack some familiar items to you know, help keep them calm. These items can provide a sense of security, a favorite toy, a cozy blanket. Anything that smells like home can make a huge difference. These small comforts can help reduce their stress levels significantly. And let's not forget the first aid kit. This is a must have for any emergency situation. You wanna be prepared for minor injuries, so pack some antiseptic wipes, gauze, pet safe bandages, anything you might need to treat small cuts or scrapes. Being prepared can prevent minor issues from becoming major problems. You can find pre-made pet first aid kits online or at most pet stores, or you can assemble your own. Tailor it to your pet's specific needs. Now, where should you keep all this essential gear? Organization is key. I recommend a dedicated backpack or duffel bag for each pet. This keeps everything in one place and easy to transport. That way you can just grab it and go. No need to waste precious time searching for items. Keep it somewhere accessible, like near your own emergency kit or by the door you use most often. This ensures you can leave quickly and efficiently. Remember, this emergency kit isn't something you pack once and forget about. Regular maintenance is crucial. Check it every few months, refresh any expired items, and make sure you're always stocked up. This keeps your kit ready for any situation. Number four on our list is all about knowing where you can go with your pet in an emergency. Imagine this, there's a wildfire and you need to evacuate, but the nearest shelter doesn't allow pets. Talk about stressful. To avoid this nightmare scenario, do your homework in advance. Start by researching pet-friendly shelters in your area. The Humane Society and ASPCA are great resources for finding this information. Keep a list of addresses and contact numbers handy, both in your phone and printed out just in case. Next, think about hotels. Not all hotels welcome pets, especially during emergencies when they might be fully booked. Make a list of pet-friendly hotels along your potential evacuation routes. You should also call ahead if you know an emergency is likely to confirm their policies. And hey, don't forget the power of friends and family. Reach out to people outside your immediate area who might be willing to provide temporary housing for you and your pets if the need arises. Having a backup plan is never a bad idea. 
Finally, let's talk transportation. Make sure you have a sturdy carrier for each pet that's large enough for them to stand up and turn around in comfortably. A leash and harness are also essential for those quick bathroom breaks or unexpected encounters with other animals. Coming in at number three is one that's often overlooked, keeping your pet's identification and medical records up to date and easily accessible. This simple step can make a huge difference in ensuring your pet's safety. Think of it like this. In a chaotic situation, your pet might get separated from you. It can happen in the blink of an eye, especially in busy or unfamiliar areas. Having clear identification and medical information readily available can be the key to bringing them home safely. It provides crucial information to anyone who might find your pet so they can contact you. First and foremost, make sure your pet has a collar with an ID tag that includes their name, your phone number, and any essential medical information like medical conditions. This can be a lifesaver in critical situations. And remember, even the fanciest engraved tag won't help if it gets ripped off. Regularly check the condition of the tag and the collar to ensure they are secure and legible. Consider a personalized embroidered collar as an extra layer of identification. These can be more durable and less likely to fall off. Next up, microchipping. If your pet isn't already microchipped, get that done as soon as possible. Microchipping is a reliable way to ensure your pet can be identified even if they lose their collar. It's a quick and relatively painless procedure that can make a world of difference in a lost pet situation. Many shelters and vets scan for microchips when a lost pet is found. Just remember to register the microchip with your current contact information and keep it updated if you move or change phone numbers. An unregistered microchip is as good as no microchip at all. Now let's talk about medical records. These documents are essential for your pet's health and well-being. In an emergency, you might need to provide vets with your pet's vaccination history or medical conditions. This information can be critical in providing the right care quickly. Keep digital copies of these records on your phone or in cloud storage, but also print out a hard copy and store it in a waterproof bag along with your pet's emergency kit. This ensures you have access to them even if technology fails. And finally, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? A clear recent photo can be invaluable. You should keep a recent photo of your pet on your phone and in your wallet. This can help others identify your pet quickly. If the unthinkable happens and you get separated, having a clear photo to show people can be incredibly helpful in bringing your furry friend home. It can be used for posters, social media, and to show to people in the area. Number two on our list is all about preparing for power outages, which can be a real challenge, especially for pets who rely on us for, well, pretty much everything. Imagine this, it's the dead of winter, the power goes out and your poor pup is shivering in the cold not a good situation, right? It's not just uncomfortable, it can be dangerous for their health. First things first, temperature control. If you live in an area with extreme temperatures, have a plan for keeping your pet warm in the winter or cool in the summer if the power goes out. Consider investing in a backup generator or battery powered space heaters and fans specifically for your pet's needs. These can be lifesavers, literally. Next up, water. Just like us, our pets need a constant supply of fresh water even during a power outage. Make sure you have at least a gallon of water stored per pet per day and consider a gravity fed water dispenser or a pet water fountain with a battery backup to keep things flowing. This ensures they stay hydrated and healthy. Now, for those pets with special needs, like fish needing filtered water or reptiles requiring heat lamps, consider battery-powered air pumps or heat sources to keep their environment stable. You can even find solar-powered options for some of these devices, which is pretty cool. These solutions can make a big difference in maintaining their well-being. And finally, don't underestimate 
Odu asked the importance of light. A dark house can be disorienting and even scary for pets. Keep a stash of flashlights and extra batteries handy and consider a solar powered lantern or two to provide some ambient light for your furry friends. This can help them feel more secure and less anxious during a power outage. Now, before we get to number one, take a second to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. You don't want to miss a single survival video. And the number one, the most important tip on our list, practice, practice, practice. Just like you'd practice a fire drill, it's crucial to practice your emergency plan with your pets. This might seem silly, but trust me, it makes a world of difference when a real emergency strikes. Start by practicing your evacuation route with your pets. Walk them through the house, open and close doors, and get them comfortable with the sights and sounds of leaving home in a hurry. If you'll be using carriers, get them used to going inside calmly. You can do this by associating the carrier with positive experiences like feeding them treats or playing with their favorite toys inside. Next, work on basic obedience commands like come and stay. A reliable recall can be a lifesaver in an emergency situation. Practice these commands regularly, both indoors and outdoors, and use positive reinforcement to make it fun and rewarding for your furry friend. If your pet is particularly anxious or reactive, consider using calming aids like pheromone sprays or diffusers to help keep them relaxed during practice sessions and in real emergencies. You can also consult with a certified animal behaviorist for personalized tips on how to manage your pet's anxiety. Remember, the goal is to make the evacuation process as smooth and stress-free as possible for both you and your pet. By practicing regularly and making it a positive experience, you'll be prepared to face any emergency situation as a team. By taking these steps, you can greatly increase the chances of your pets staying safe and calm during an emergency or disaster situation. Remember, being prepared is the best way to protect your furry family members when they need you most. We know it can seem like a lot to think about, but trust us, the peace of mind is worth it. Start small, tackle one step at a time, and before you know it, you'll be the most prepared pet parent on the block. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more helpful tips. Stay safe, everyone.